Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a big PSA return. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I had a huge PSA return from a submission that I sent last year, um, 300 plus cards. We are not looking at all of those cards today. We're gonna look at a chunk of them. And the chunk that we're going to look at is the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. So if you watch the channel, you know we love Hidden Fates on this channel. Um, we've opened a lot, we've pulled a lot of good cards, but yeah, these are cards that I sent way before I even started my channel um, and I think I have every Hidden Fate shiny vault apart from one card um, and there's a few promos in here as well so we're going to get right into it and as you can see I kind of spaced them out a bit here so you could see the quantity of the cards um, I've also had my husband number them for me so I know that they're in the right order I don't know any of the grades I haven't looked the box that came back from PSA was huge so I asked him to sort them out into a pile for me all in the right order and we are going to start at number one and we're going to work our way through Okay, so pile number one, I'm actually gonna take this one out of the sleeve first, because it's much easier to see. And then we will make a start. We're not gonna linger too long because there's a lot to get through. So very, very first card in the submission. And we have got the Scyther in a PSA 10. We have then got Rowler in a PSA 9. So as we're going, guys, let me know what your favorite card is. Dart Tricks in a nine. Um, like I said, love Hidden Fates on this channel. I'm looking forward to seeing another 10 there with Wimpod. I'm looking forward to seeing what some of the full arts got. I'm also looking forward to seeing Charmander as well. That's a fan favorite. Feromosa in a 10. Some of these shinies I'm not a fan of, but um, and we got Charmander in a nine. Okay, I was hoping for a 10 on that one, but that's okay. But you know what? I sent these cards so long ago, like, I can't remember. Oh, Charmeleon in a 10. Now this I really love. Um, we open a lot on the channel and we've only pulled this a couple of times. Um, the Charmander has made an appearance much more than the Charmeleon. And we have another Charmeleon PSA 10. Okay, so I forgot to mention, I do have a couple of duplicates in here. Not all of them, only a few. And we have Vulpix in a 10, a very cute card. And then we got Wooper in a 10. Lots of 10s. Um, this might be the best 10 return I think we've had yet. Quagsire in a 10. So let me know what you uh, think of Hidden Fates in general. Froakie in a 10. We do a lot of tin openings on the channel and I feel like the tins, we've got a nine there. Um, the tins are really good. I feel like we've had some of the best hits ever. I love this Voltorb. Voltorb in a 10. Pulled that quite a few times now as well. Okay, Zerka Tree Ultra Beast in a nine. And then we've got Surviper in a nine. And Shop It in a 10. Inky in a nine. Malamar in a nine. Lots of good grades here, very happy with these. Poipo in a 10. Pseudo Woodoo in a nine. Oops. Then we have Riolu in a 10. This is another one I really, really like. One that we don't pull too often as well when we're opening Hidden Face. Another great one, Lucario in a 10. Very nice. Then we have Rockruff in a 10. Super, super cute card here. This pile is absolutely huge and we have three more of them to go. Then we have Buzzwell in a 9. We have Guzzlord in a 9. Magnemite in a nine. And then we have Magneton in a nine. Okay, so that was pile number one. Let me know what you thought of those. We'll now move on to pile number two. So we are on to pile number two. So again, I will take this one out of a sleeve just because it reflects quite a bit. Um, and it's a lot easier to see them when they're not in the sleeve. Okay, card number one. We have got Magnezone in a 10 followed by Beldum in a 10. Then we've got Matang in a 10. Quite a few 10s coming out of pile number two already. Then we have Celesteela in a 10. So do remember in the comments, let me know what are your favorite cards from the set? Cartana in a 10. Um, and have you graded any Hidden Fates yourself? If so, what have the results been like? We have Roots in a 10, really like that card. Then we have Curlia in a nine. Like I said, these were sent over a year ago now. Deancey in a nine. 
Whenever you get a PSA sub back after having it sent away for so long, it really is like Christmas. Altaria in a nine. And I've been really looking forward to seeing what this comes back as. Um, this submission Ghibli in a nine so like I said I sent about 300 cards well over 300 cards goodbye in a 10 um, they all came back I've been sorting well my husband has been sorting through most of them some I've seen some I haven't the ones I haven't looked at are the ones that I want to reveal to you guys on camera because I think it's a bit more fun that way Garchomp in a 10 I'm lucky my husband likes Pokemon as well because otherwise he certainly wouldn't be doing it Eevee in a nine super cute shiny really like that one okay We've got Eevee again in an 8. A bit disappointed I didn't get an Eevee in a 10, but that's okay. Then we have Sway Blue in a 10. Noibat in a 10. Oranguru in a 9. Type Null in a 10. Most pointless Pokemon card ever. <laughs> Okay, and now we are getting to some of the good stuff. We have Leafeon in a 10. Very, very nice. Love the Phil Art Shinies in Hidden Fates. If I had to pick a favourite, probably be Umbreon and then Charizard, I think. We have Desidui in a 10. Um, but all of them are really, really great. Golisopod in a 9. So let me know what your favourite Phil Art is as well. And we have the big boy. We have got Charizard in a nine. So the Charizard that I've pulled um, on the Hidden Fates breaks, the centering on most of them has been off, which is a bit of a shame. But if I've ever pulled you the SV49, please let me know in the comments if you've ever sent it for grading and what did you get. But there we go, a PSA nine. And then we have Charizard again in a 10. Happy with that, very happy with that. What do we think, guys? That's the one I was kind of hoping I would get a 10. I knew I had a couple in here. And then we have another favorite. This is ho -Oh in the 10. So ho -Oh, it took ages to pull during the Hidden Fates breaks. Absolutely ages, along with the Mewtwo. We actually pulled multiple Charizards before we managed to pull the ho -Oh, But And then we have another ho -Oh there in a 10. We've got Reshiram in a 10, love that card. Love the colors on this card, beautiful. And then we've got Reshiram again in a nine. So like I said, I do have duplicates of some of these. And then we have Turtonator in a nine. Okay, so that was pile number two. Now we're gonna move on to pile number three. On to pile number three now. Let's get the sleeve off. Right, okay, pile number three, here we go. We have got nine tails in a nine, another beautiful card. I love this, pulled this quite a few times on the breaks now. I'd say I think we've pulled everything now, although I might get reminded. Articuno in a 10, beautiful card. I just love these full arts, they just, People ask me what my favorite modern set is a lot of the time, and I think I have to go with Hidden Fates. So we have Glaceon in a 10, beautiful. Then we have got Greninja in an eight. Greninja isn't one that we pull too often, thinking about it. Um, there's definitely ones that make a regular appearance. Electrode in a 10, very nice. Then we have got Zerkatry in a 10. Followed by Mewtwo in a 10, lovely. So this was one that took ages to pull. And then it was like when we pulled it, suddenly it just kept appearing. So we've hit this a few times now. So another great card in the set. And then we have Mewtwo again in a 10, very nice. Double 10 for the Mewtwo. Okay, Espeon in a 10, oh, love this card as well. Oh, I just love all of these cards. I'm so, so glad these are finally back as well. And then we have Espeon again in a 10. Very, very nice there, double 10 on the Espeon. Then we have Bennett in a 10. Cool, lots of 10s on these full arts. I'm very happy with that. Then we have Nihi Lego in a 10. Can't say that's one of my favorites, but. And then we have Naganadel in a 10. Wow, feeling like the full arts are giving us most of the 10s here. Lucario in a 10, lovely card, followed by Zygarde in a 10. Now this is one we don't pull very often at all, maybe once or twice I think. 
And then we have a Lycan Rock in a 10. Wow, lots of 10s with these full arts. This is impressive. Then we have the Lycan Rock again. So obviously the two artworks there, just so you can see. Love both of them. Um, so that's in a nine. Did I just say a 10? That was a nine. I'm just, I'm seeing 10 now. Okay, now we have a Buzzwell in a 10. And guys, if you like these larger PSA returns, um, let me know. Umbreon in a 10. Okay, really happy with that. Beautiful card. Um, Because like I said, this was a 300 plus return. So I've got lots of cards to get through. Obviously, we're not looking at all of them today. We're just looking at Hidden Fates. We have Dark Ray in a 10. Then we have Guzzlord in a 10. Then we have a bit of string from PSA attached to Sizer <laughs> in a 10. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. And then we have Cartana in a 10. Wow. This is the best 10 return I've ever had. Stack Attacker in a 10 for all those Stack Attacker fans out there. God of War in a 10, very nice. Sylveon in a 10, lovely, beautiful card. Again, the colours on these, I just, I am a softie for Hidden Fates. Altaria in a 10, very nice. Another one that we don't pull very often. And again, Altaria in a 10. Okay, so that was pile number three. Let me know what you think so far. And then we're going to go for the final chunk. Okay, now we have pile number four. Let's get the sleeve off of this one. Um, so yeah, this is probably the most modern ret PSA return I think I've done. Obviously a lot of the cards I've been sending recently on Express are um, you know, older, more vintage cards that are worth $150, but these were sent way before the price increase. So we have Neuvern in a nine. Silverly in a 10, another one we don't pull very often, very nice. Rampner in a 10, another one we don't pull very often on the Hidden Fates breaks. And then we have got the Aether Foundation employee in a 10. Now these full art trainers we certainly don't see very often when we're opening up Hidden Fates. We've got Cynthia in a 10, incredible card. I think Cynthia's only made an appearance like twice, maybe three times. We got Fisherman in the 10, we see this one a little more often. And then we have Guzma in a 10. Followed by Hiker, aka Logan Paul, in a 10. Then we got Lady in a 10. I think I've only pulled Lady once. Correct me if I'm wrong if you watch the streams, but I'm pretty sure we've only hit Lady once. And then we have the Aether Paradise Conservation Area in a 10. Very nice gold there. Okay, I'm impressed with this return. And then we have it again in a 10. Not bad at all. And then we have a Brooklet Hill in a 10. So the Gold Stadium cards, again, they're a lot harder to pull. We've pulled, I think, most of them. Um, but again, not on a regular basis. Brooklet Hill in a 10. The best tin I ever opened, the Charizard and one of the Gold Tapus came out of the same tin. That was impressive. We have Mount Coronet in a 10. Wow. This is brilliant. We have Shrine of Punishment in a 10. We have never, ever pulled Shrine of Punishment, ever. So maybe this is one we might see in the future. Maybe it will just evade us forever, but there we go. And then we have Tapu Bulu in a 10. We have pulled all the Tapus on the channel. Always a great hit. Tapu Finny in a 10. We've got Tapu Coco in a 10. 10, 10, 10. We have got Lunala GX. So it's one of the tapus that I'm missing. I said I had the pretty much the whole shiny belt apart from um, one of the tapus. So these are now the promos. So we have a 10. Very nice promo. I like that. And then we have Solgaleo promo in a 10. Like I said, there was some promos in here. Now this is the Rayquaza promo. Very, very nice. Again, in a 10. So it looks like we're ending on all the promos here. We have the Charizard. So these are the tin promos that you see a lot on the channel in a 10. And then Gyarados in a 10. 
And then the ETB promo, so the Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno, beautiful card in a 10. Few more to go. We've got the Raichu in a 10, again the Tin promo. And then we have Mewtwo in a 9. So guys, these are all the promos now from Hidden Fate. So let me know what you think of these. We have the Mew in a 9. Couple more to go. We then have the Metagross in a 9. And then the last card. We have the Zoroark in a 9. Guys, that was quite the PSA return. Please let me know what you think. What was your favorite card? What did you think of the grade? I personally am very, very happy. I think we did really, really well there. Like I said, these were sent a year ago, way before the prices increased. Um, obviously didn't expect them to take that long when I originally sent them, but you know how it is with PSA. They got awfully backlogged and everything really slowed down. So. There we go, there is basically part one of my huge, huge recent PSA return. There will be more PSA returns coming over the coming weeks. If you haven't already, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.